Hi, this is Hi Bob Poor Bob, and we're about to play some Ultimate General Civil War. Hello, and welcome back. If you didn't watch the camp video, I understand. It can be a little boring. So we're just going to do a re quick recap here. Hit the highlights. We replayed everything. Well, not everything. Just um, Battle of Bull Run and Newport News. On Newport News, I basically just fought it a couple times until I got an increase in armory so that I would actually get good weapons at first bull run. I ended up getting 2,800 Lorenzes. I did not do quite as well on getting infield, so I am about 200 short of what I had before. Like 170 or something. But I have all these Lorenzes. I have three Mississippis. Oh. And then I have three Springfields. I did end up buying some Springfields on accident that I probably shouldn't have because it was unnecessary. But that's okay. So here is Ambush Convoy. So I have a really weird kind of thing I do here. I mean, obviously it's weird. I'm using 10 infantry. Like, yeah. It's a little different. But it's like really effective at doing what it does. Okay, so you overlap them slightly. About like that. Wait a second. Oh, I don't put them down as low. That's what it is, I guess. Huh. I swear they fit together, like, just barely. Oh, that's it. Okay. Barely touching. It's because I don't want them to be quite down that low. I'm not even sure they need to be down that low. They need to get to here. Mm, it'll be fine. Okay, so then you grab everybody below the spring fields and what our end goal will be is to be about like that. So yeah, just like that. And then on these guys, we want this guy to go here. This guy will end up going like here. This guy goes here. And then our those guys go there. Okay, and then we just get to marching. Yeah, I didn't have these guys down as far before, I think. It's fine. It's not going to hurt anything.
them for just a second here. Maybe them too. Okay. pretty good so far I I think they're flashing which is good um, now we're looking to these guys are getting there that's good we could have done a little bit more damage by like splitting off skirmishers and stuff but I think overall it's not a bad amount of damage we did maybe we want to do this no he's 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 stunned that's fine we don't want that though. But we don't really want this either, so. So, I don't really know what to do there. Okay, why? Why can't you just attack him? Okay, good. And... Got him. And... Come on. Got him. Okay, so then we're trying to get out of the way. Oh. I don't know. Will they capture that if they're on the run like that? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Just kind of depends on... I did kind of miss out on moving some guys further than what I have so far. Oh, they did capture him back. They capture both of them. Of course. Like the very tip of both of them, basically. It's just kind of how that goes, I guess. Yeah, well, we're going to capture this one back, I think. Right? Yeah. I don't know if they'll be able to get out of there though. Oh, they can go that way now. Okay, so then we just go this way. No, don't, don't. Oh, you're firing at that too. You guys are stupid. Yeah, I need to pay more attention up here too. Okay. So this guy needs to move up. This guy really needs to move over. That guy needs to move over. This guy can move over. And over. And over. Okay. And that guy can move that way. And that way. Let's not have them fire at that. We don't want them to fire at that. Come on. Wow. They're so close. Okay, there we go. Wow, that was... My heart is on the edge of my seat here. Okay. Yep, 
they're approaching, that's fine. No big deal. It's just those guys. They're, they'll be fine. Not really, but I'll pretend like they're going to be fine. Okay. And they're, you know, we'll get some kills in there. Hopefully. A few. So we're going to move down with those guys. We really need those guys locked in place. And we need those guys to cover their flank. Like, we need them to have already covered their flank, pretty much. Okay, move over there, move over there. Okay, they're about to get a good shot on them. Yeah, this is really good. Like, they're really distracting them. While well, I get to move into position here. Ooh, they got captured. That's fine. We'll either get them back or we won't. Oh, we won't because they're going off the screen right there. Which is fine. They won't hurt us any. Okay. So that's a good spot for them to be, I think. These guys are a little bit far in the forest. Maybe we want to come sit right there. I don't know how many shots they might have to take, though. So maybe it's best to just have them sit where they're at for now. We can move forward in a second if we need to. There's no reason to rush that, though. So yeah, we'll just sit here. Yeah, these guys have all lost a few men, but nothing, nothing too bad. Okay. Go ahead and have that guy move down just a little bit more. That guy can hold position there. Yeah, that's not particularly good. Let's go ahead and have those guys go do that. Okay. Okay, so Franklin's turning this way, so let's go hit him once from the side here. Yeah, we need to hit him again. Should have broken off skirmishers for that, probably. Okay. 30, 43, 19. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't real great. Yeah, that's bad too. Yeah, I don't want them to move forward. So we're just going to leave that alone. That should stop their charge, yeah. Didn't really want to lose this many. Yeah, already 76. I haven't been nearly as careful as I could have been. Okay, so that guy needs to go on hold. Spring 2 needs to start getting down here. This guy needs to move forward. This guy needs to be moved down. Down and down.
Just have everybody keep moving down. Yeah, 93 losses on the infields. That's like really bad. This is definitely not what we meant to do. Make sure and keep them running straight through this forest. We don't want anybody to get stuck in the forest. Because that tends to go badly very quickly. guys get stuck in the forest they tend to not want to get out of the forest is part of the problem yep okay those are pretty good spots we want So then we swing on around. Wow, they didn't stop. That's kind of amazing. Let's see if we can't get some guys to fire into their side. Before they get there. Yep, got them. That's what matters. Okay. So we've got that guy lined up there. I think we're going to go ahead and put away his skirmishers for now. And line up these guys instead. Okay. We'll just keep putting away more of the skirmishers because there's no real need for them now okay go ahead and move those guys like that just need them to get there okay and just get everybody kind of in place okay you just tell them to keep holding go ahead and have these guys hold here now we've got an hour left so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do something I had kind of thought about is we're gonna break off all the skirmishers and we're gonna have them run we don't really need them anymore the skirmishers to be inside of them anymore And is a chance for them to get to run while the other guys fire. So I don't know how much difference it will actually make in anything, but figured why not? Oh, that guy needs to go in here. Uh, 
about those infields. I really didn't want to lose that many infields. The other thing that you can do is you can intentionally not capture one of the wagons so that you, um, oh wow, there's an extra unit back here that I missed. Um, so that you get more time to do this, but I don't think the time is actually necessary in this case with 10 infantry. Like obviously if you have less infantry than this, then it will take you longer to kill them than what it takes me. Ten infantry are pretty good at this whole thing. So what you can do is the way that you do this is you have to pause the game and you can hold someone wherever they're at, no matter where they're at, even if they're overlapping. If you don't pause the game, then you can't do that. So like... I can tell them to hold because it's on pause, but if I unpause it without them on help hold. Oh, that time it worked. Some of these won't work though. Hmm, I don't know. But sometimes you can't if you don't purposefully put it on hold. So whenever we get down to one guy, we'll, we'll try to run in there and capture him, see if that works. I don't know if it will or not, but you don't lose anything by trying. Should move that guy over there. Should keep my supply, you know, at hand. Okay. Everybody's standing around again, so tell them to fire on somebody. Hopefully leaving one of these guys that's pretty high is the goal. Ooh, Sherman's at 1800, that's good. Yeah, the problem with this strategy is that people will start shattering at a really high number. Like, that one guy shot at it like 700. They even have their guys back there and they can't even get back in track. I'm hoping that I can keep Sherman high enough to be worth it. Sherman Franklin okay and then Bernie one thing you can do is if you just like hold fire for a second and like let them come back for a little bit then they will be higher whenever they shatter. You'll get more kills. But the number of kills you get doesn't really matter that much. I could probably get away with charging this. Get some melee out of it, you know. Okay, let's, let's hold fire for a second here. And what we're looking at is we're looking at our condition. Yeah, a lot of these guys have kind of low condition. So let's take them all off run. I was going to see if I could get everybody to kind of move forward just a little bit, maybe. Okay, somebody's recovered now. We got 19 minutes left. Let's see where are our guys? Tell some of them to move down here. Okay. Go ahead and hit Rob. 
Robinson, and then Poe. Well, let's just charge. Maybe Sherman and Poe will see the error of their ways. No. Nope. Let's see. There we go. Sherman surrendered. We got maybe a thousand men from him. It's not too bad. My losses were minimal, except for oh, because they captured him, so he doesn't appear on my screen, which is funny. So a hundred, I mean, the infield's losing. Ninety-five was bad, but everybody else. Ooh, our two majors ranked up to lieutenant colonel. That's good. Twenty-two hundred infields. 295 Lorenzes. Overall, not bad. Almost captured the supplies full. Yep. That all looks good. Real fast battle. Real easy. Obviously, it's easier whenever you have a lot of infantry to pull off the strategy that I'm showing here. Yeah, so total losses were really low for my army. 479 men. Of course, the fact that so many of them were infields are heart is heartbreaking, but there's nothing much you can do about that. Like that guy just was the guy that got targeted this time and 2,200 infields is almost enough to get me up to let's see how many how many units were left 1,600 so 2,200 onto that would be I can make like units in 1,900 1,900 and something so that's not really that bad I don't think. I think that it could have gone a whole lot worse. I've already, I went ahead and did a test run and I think I lost like 780 men, I think. We can check. So this was, this is my run that I did earlier. So yeah, I lost 755 men. Most of them were Springfields. One of the guys got caught in that forest up in the top corner. Two of the guys, actually. Two guys got stuck in that corner. So all my Springfields took a little bit heavier losses because of that. Um, it's just kind of the way it goes. You get stuck in that corner. Uh, if, if they reform before they leave that forest, then other guys move up behind them and really make your life a nightmare. If you And I wasn't able to push in as fast from below either because of... I don't know, it just didn't work out as well. But they got less shots on the guys on the end, so my infields took almost no damage in this one. But I took twice as many casualties overall. So I think that, that this one was quite a bit better than the other one. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this result here. Yeah. unit with the most kills is Franklin. He was probably the one... Wait. Was... Poe. He might have been the one on the end. One of these guys was probably the guy on the end that got shots on my infield guy. But most of the units got almost no kills. It's just a really good setup just to funnel them over here, funnel them down here, and you just meet in the corner and kill them all. And it and it does require some broken off skirmishers. But for the most part, the skirmishers isn't what did it. It was just good placement of units. Like, yes, I did do some double stacking of skirmishers just to break them a little bit faster. But for the most part, you could do this even without detached skirmishers. I don't know if you could do this in the mod, though, because... 
Yeah. Oh no, I let the sound run. It's gonna get whatevered. Eh. It'll be fine. So, there's what we gained. Of course, yeah. And we gained extra money because of the uh, supply wagons. So, we had a little bit of extra there. So, let's see what our roll was here. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so low. That is crazy. So, we got... Our armory, I think, dropped a bit because we uh, took a lot of their weapons. But the training is still a little bit higher than I would like. But that's okay. This isn't really that bad. And look at how small their army is. Like, we have them. We have them almost broken. Next, will we stay alert? Well, I'm going to do a thing here. I don't know. I kind of... I think I'm going to go to 2,000 on everybody. That's what I'm going to do right now. And then, um, before Shiloh, then I can take whatever unit has the highest experience and break it down and make it into all my artillery units, I think, is what I'm going to end up doing. Which is... So yeah, this is... After convoy, the new one. 